what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here and we're gonna be talking about this second trailer that came out for the chucky tv series earlier this week so this second trailer if you weren't excited for the tv show after that first trailer this second trailer should get you excited and i'll be the first one to say because i know a lot of you have already you already see that i have a recap coming up for the pilot episode the pilot episode yes i've already seen that i've already seen episode two three and four I'll be the first one to say this second trailer looks like it has a lot of what I haven't seen yet. This second trailer looks very much like it's mostly episodes five through eight, while the first trailer was more more of episodes one through four. I'll just point that out. That's what I noticed from watching the trailer. So the interesting things about this trailer is it looks like they will be continuing the cult of Chucky narrative at some point, maybe in like the, in the season finale or closer to the season finale when tiffany starts arriving in town we do see shots of andy and kyle in town pointing guns down towards the ground which we can only assume will be chucky one of the chucky dolls and we see jake lexi Devin, uh junior you know the group of kids who will ban who, who will start to band together once they realize that they have a common foe in the doll that jake now has possession of and they're going to try to stop chucky the series of course does seem to have a very much more of a psych have a have that psychological edge to it that we know we were getting with the very much so with the first film where we had andy and chucky's dynamic where they didn't believe andy they thought it was chuck they thought they didn't believe what andy was telling them they thought he was the one going around doing all the killings and you you will get that same vibe watching the first four episodes with jake and chucky and what you see he's trying to do to this kid given the circumstances that he has in his life and him being bullied recently losing his mother uh having a troublesome time at home with his father who's not really supportive of his aspirations to want to be an artist there's a whole lot of things that you will just want to it makes jake a very easily likable character someone you want to see have a better life and at some point throughout all of this craziness on the other side you hope that he comes out on the other side for the better uh the trailer though again if that first trailer didn't get you excited this one should the shots that they are showing one in specific i will just talk about that shot of him with the fire blowing up behind him when you guys see that episode of uh, the the finalized cut because i saw an unfinished cut the that looks that, that whole scene was just breathtaking still to me so i hope when i watch because i'm still going to watch it weekly on tv when i see that episode on tv again i cannot wait to see how it looks for the final cut i can't wait to hear all the final mixing to it i can't wait to see all the finished effects they have thrown into it now uh we see Tiffany at one point during the trailer. We also are, we have more than that, more than enough confirmation at this point that Nika still is the one that Chucky has his soul into as far as like a human anyway. He is still in Nika's body. We see Nika and Tiffany meet up somewhere. We've also seen behind the scenes images. It looks like they're going to have a sex scene of sorts between the two. So if you're looking forward to that, I guess that's something to be excited about. And from there it's safe to assume that nika and tiffany will of course start wreaking havoc in the town of hackensack we'll start to learn more about what chucky is here for because i do know they have a line in the trailer that he's he's got a mission here or something like that so we'll learn a little bit more about what he wants and why he's here uh as as the season progresses because to my knowledge at this point he's just here trying to cause mayhem but if there's a more deeper rooted issue then I can't wait to find out what that deep rooted issue is. Uh, I know we also see shots of him as a teenager. You won't have to wait long to see that shot. They don't, like I said before, if you've read what I have to say on Twitter, they don't waste any time jumping into how corrupt this man has been since a very young age and the stuff that's happened to him. They don't they don't waste time at all whatsoever. The shot of him as a teenager, you won't have to wait too many episodes to see that shot. Uh the stuff that unfolds during that sequence i think will be very satisfying to a lot of you who have been waiting to see some returning faces or maybe have some characters that haven't been mentioned in a while mentioned again i think a lot of you will be very pleased those of you who are chucky purist and you live and breathe and know every little detail about chucky i, I would say the same way i live and breathe for scream or jeepers creepers uh this trailer even though again this looks mostly like it's stuff that i haven't seen it's making me more excited 
because I've already was more excited after the ending that I saw for the fourth episode. I'm ready to dive back in to see what else they have in store. And after seeing this trailer, it looks like they are about to kick it up a notch with episodes five through eight. Because again, that's what this trailer looks like. It was just mostly stuff from episodes five through eight. So if you want to be prepared for that, you already know that most of this stuff is not stuff you'll see early on, which again, is also something I've already talked about. The way they're doing the show is exactly how it should be done. They're spending spending a good chunk of the first half developing these younger kids and letting us focus on the life of jake and then they're going to jump and bring in all of the og characters to help these kids that we now should have a investment in uh while also of course getting to see them progress forward and learn a lot more about them now given that i've already seen the first four episodes i can say that Zachary Arthur's performance as Jake, since I'm not going to really do a full season review till after this season is done, his performance as Jake is something that I was very pleased with. He does an amazing job as a very young young actor. He seems to kind of capture that awkwardness and the the un the vibes of Jake just being very uncomfortable in his own shoes. He captures that amazingly. You 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 can just see Jake as a person. He is he has all of this built up stuff that he wants to just let out, but he's not sure how to express it. And the way Zachary Arthur portrays him, he makes him a very sympathetic character. Uh, he also lashes out when Jake knows how to lash out. It's just something about Jake and the way he's being portrayed by Zachary Arthur. I was just impressed early on by how well he was capturing this kid, given, of course, they are close in age as well, I believe. So it's, it was a very fitting performance, I would just say. So good job to Zachary Arthur. But this second trailer, I can't wait to see Nika again. I can't wait to see how these other Chucky dolls are incorporated. Also, at one point in the trailer, it looks like Chucky is going to be getting a a new doll, courtesy of Jake, somehow. More manipulation on his end, of course. I will say that there is a new look of Chucky that you'll see that will kind of explain why he wants to get a new body. But the new look, I will also say, is very badass uh in my opinion i thought it was amazing but i don't think it's going to be staying around much long just because of how he will look but you'll have a new chucky look but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video